So this is the little town, little seaside resort of Fairbourne. Very quiet today. I've come on the day of the uh, the King's coronation, and we've literally got the place to ourselves, which is fantastic. Come to have a look around while everyone else is sat watching the telly. I especially wanted to come and have a look at these things, part of the old sea defences along the coast. explaining there was actually more of these pillboxes up the coast. I think this is the last one left. You can see inside there. And these are the dragon's teeth. It's not the easiest surface these big stones is it? Now all the way, all the way down the promenade. These dragon teeth stretch her all the way down here bigger than I remember so these remaining dragon's teeth stretch out for around 1.5 miles down the Fairbourne coast they were built to slow down any enemy craft or tanks that were trying to come ashore So we did come here last year, we was only staying a couple of miles down the coast, we was on this side of the river last year, um, but I never got back to, uh, to film these. I think these are really, 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 really interesting and an uncelebrated part of the uh, of, of war history. I don't know if the steel bars over the windows are original or not, or just to keep people out. I suspect they're not original. clarify what I said earlier there was five of those pillboxes down this coast type 24 bulletproof pillboxes and 650 of these dragon's teeth stretching 1.5 miles it is these pillboxes and more defenses that I was most interested in um, so I do love a little bit of history I love investigating history wherever I end up on my travels um, but let's just go and see what else Fairborn has to offer I am struggling to talk today. The voice is not in the best condition at the moment. So Fairbourne is situated in Cardigan Bay, or more specifically, Barmouth Bay. It's located just in between uh, Towin and Barmouth. Now, if you arrive at the town on the train from the south, you're in for this spectacular journey along the, um, along the seafront, just clinging to the edge of the cliffs there. As we can see from this train, just making its way southbound down the Cambrian Coast Railway. I remember growing up and coming on the train to Barmouth uh, for family holidays many, many years ago. And this was one of the highlights for me.
One of the other attractions in Fairbourne is this narrow gauge steam railway. It's around two miles long and starts from in the village at Fairbourne, just next to the main railway station and runs out onto the peninsula, uh, just opposite Barmouth in the Mowdock estuary. And still those dragon teeth continue, um, but not in the same vein. They're not as uniform look. Looks like some of these have been moved, some missing or buried. No longer stacked up neatly here, are they? So the promenade does stretch out quite a way past, uh, past the end of the, uh, the built up. A small built-up area and we've got this golf course here and it goes out onto a onto a peninsula that overlooks um, the town of Barmouth that's just the other side of the river you see Barmouth Bridge in the distance there we'll get a better look at, at that as we uh, as we make our way round uh, I'm gonna go the Fairbourne Miniature Railway does um, go all the way out to that little head of land there's a train just going over the Barmouth Bridge, Barmouth Viaduct, just in the in the distance there. You can hear it from all the way over here, clattering along along the wooden beams. And another little halt. And if my memory serves me correctly, got a little bit of disused railway here. How brilliant's that? Always. Got the nose sniffing for a disused railway. Look, we've got some rails in the sun there. We're getting more and more hidden up, covered up by the year, isn't it? So this was the old trap bed. Like I can say I remember when I used to come as a as a child on here, this was the way the train used to come round. And a sign there, five kilometres. this so you see the sleepers and everything here I don't know what year they stopped using this side of the loop I guess they just left it in place it'll go all the way around into the station that's just behind it's behind this big mound around the grass and sand I can see the ferry just going back over that's Barmouth there where we're staying. Ah. So this is the uh, existing line look, it's cut off from that bit. We've got another weird, another little length of, it's like jewel gauge doesn't it look, three lines in there, only goes as far just behind just the station that doesn't go far at all point lever I think we have got a train due in about 10 minutes time yeah, a lovely panoramic view Barmouth Harbour and back towards disappearing to this sand dune back towards the bridge there look and then back where we've just come from
There's a ferry just arrived. Quickly turning into a different railway explore. And all these disused concrete sleepers all the way along here. I hope you enjoyed this short little video of my trip to Fairborn. Unfortunately, circumstances dictated this would be the last video that I would film for quite a while. Now, there is another video covering why that is. Um, but in the meantime, cheers for watching, take care, and we'll see you soon. Eventually.